Hey folks, it's another career review and today we're going to do a revisit to the DeLonghi EC155 only now they've put an M on the end and I'll show you what the difference is. This is a very compact machine. This was well suited for somebody that doesn't want to put a fortune into uh, their espresso making gear. Uh, it, it's a very entry level and yet does a pretty decent job. It's been around for a long time. They're got, not getting rid of it as far as we know. It has what's called a pressurized system and what that does is you can see that there aren't a bunch of holes on the bottom of this, right? And it's got this rubber ring on the inside. What pressurized allows for is if a person doesn't really want to get all fussy about the grind of their coffee, the pressurize compensates for the grind not being perfect. It'll still give you a decent shot. If it was non-pressurized, uh, you would have to have the grind of your coffee more perfect to get the best shot. So this is another really good reason for entry level for somebody that doesn't want to get all fussy. Comes with the, uh, this is the porta filter and it comes with a double basket and it also back in here, there's a little storage spot for the single basket. And while we're back down in aluminum uh, porta filter, by the way, I wanted to mention that with, this is what makes it the M. This layer, they change it from plastic to metal. This holds the basket in while you're tamping, uh, tamping out the old, ta tapping out the old ground coffee. So that's the deal with that. Angle is everything, isn't it? While we're back in here, uh, this is the water tank. It's actually a good size water tank for the size of the machine. It's 35 ounces, pretty big. And then there's this groove right here. As that goes down in, you'll see that is visible from the front right down here. So you can see your water level without opening the lid. Not that it's hard to open the lid. Your control panel right up here uh, in the middle position, the machine is off. To the left, it's going to bring the boiler up to steam temperature, which is much higher than brewing temperature. And then from here, this is on, the boiler is on. And if you turn it to the right, you're gonna get uh, your coffee express down through the porta filter or if you open up the steam knob which is right up here and put a cup under here you get hot water so it dispenses hot water as well it's got a, um, a nice stainless steel platform up here for putting your shot glasses on and actually it's getting warm it's been on for just a little bit your drip tray and grate right here drip tray stainless steel insert for a grate which is kind of nice and uh, your steam arm right here the steam arm, as you can see, rotates left and right, and it is a Panarello, which makes it, again, much easier for you to make milk if you're not adept to doing the technique of a traditional steam arm. This compensates in the, mil the milk, you put it up like this in your cup, and the air goes in through these two holes at the top, and then this incorporates it into the milk, making foam. Now, you don't have as much uh, control with it, but... Again, if this is your first machine, it'll be so simple to use. That's really a key point with this machine. The size of this machine is, as I mentioned, very small. And the boiler on the inside, it's a stainless steel boiler. It's not very big. We opened up the lid to just take a look-see. You know, I don't know really how many ounces it holds. It's, you know, it's not very big, but it is stainless steel. That's a real plus for a machine of this uh, price point and size. Well, what's left? Let's go get some milk. Let's get some ground coffee. Let's make a drink. Okay, we've got our milk. We have our glass. We have a grinder over here and I'm waiting for this to get up to temperature. I put this on steam. And when this green light goes on, that tells you it's either ready for steam or for brewing. So that means the boiler is up to temperature. And this is a little warm up here. You could actually put shot glasses up here, by the way. All right, so I'm gonna purge any liquid that might be in there, condensation. Looking pretty good. So with the Panarello wand, you're not gonna make perfect milk as far as like uh, latte art quality or anything like that. It's gonna make more foam than you probably want, but you can spoon it off. And then if you're getting too much foam, 
These holes in the top here are where the milk is actually drawn in and incorporated into the milk. If you don't want any more foam, bury them. Go like that. You won't get any more foam, you'll just get heat. It'll warm the milk from there. Whoop, whoop. It's hot. That's a lot of foam. And a lot of cleanup, too. So what I do if I want to, uh, now I want to cool that boiler down. It's way too hot to brew a shot. I am going to make this make hot water into my cup. It's going to clean out that panarello a little bit too. And it's going to cool the boiler down. That green light is going to go off telling me that it's cooled down. There. Now I'm gonna wait for that to come back up to temperature. I got my cup hot. I'm gonna get the coffee ready. Okay, come on over here. Give it some room. We're using the Breville Grain Control with Streamline coffee, like I mentioned, from Victrola. This is one uh, awkward thing. The tamper, which I did not mention earlier, is located right over here. Um, pushing up has never worked well for me. I don't particularly care for it. So get yourself another tamper if you don't like that, too. All right, the green light is on. Let's get this swirled around. Actually, once the big bubbles came out of it, it's not bad. This is not automatic. You have to shut it off when you get the amount of coffee you want in your cup. So don't let it overflow. I've done that. Kind of forgot about it and walked away. Not a bad shot. Look at that. Garlic, heart, whatever you want to call it. Not bad. Very good, actually. Nice and creamy. That milk was very creamy. The coffee is good. Not bad. I would say for the price point, the size, not a bad machine. Uh, not bad at all. Okay, this is a tip for you guys. This is one thing I noticed. When foaming your milk, it says in the manual, put it into the milk, the tip about five millimeters. And there's a ridge here. I'm going to say that's about five millimeters. I got much better results if I didn't submerge that tip into the milk any further than that. that this is where I got the best results, where I got the most foam. There are the, the cons that I can think of are uh, if you don't like the Panarello, you really don't have any choice. If you unscrew this and take it off, it's got this little short nub. Not going to work for anything else. And the tamper going up like this, really don't care for that. It's hard to get a good tamp that way. So another con on this machine is this does not have the three-way solenoid valve. So no matter what you do, when you take the portafilter out, you are going to have a soupy puck, and that's a little bit messy. So that's one con I just wanted to mention. But other than that, uh, for the price point, for what you get, this would be a consideration if, you know, if it's in your price point and your budget and all that, and you don't have a lot of space in your kitchen, all of those things, check this machine out, the EEC-155M from DeLonghi. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cheers.